Of course, I speak about the unbeaten Triple Crown winner, the son of Scat Daddy, trained by Bob Baffert, Justified. News came in from California that he's had some filling in an ankle. Uh, twice now, I guess. He had some. He got back to training. He has it again. It certainly leaves in doubt the, uh, the racing career, the future racing career of Justify. Matt, I don't have to be a uh, huge conspiracy theorist to wonder if this was kind of the plan all along and maybe Justify was never meant to run after he won the Belmont Stakes and the Triple Crown. I don't think I can argue with that on Brian, and I guess I'm not surprised to hear this announcement with some specific issues that are going on with him. Uh, obviously, these are nothing that's significant, but they are enough to keep him out of training. They're enough to question, you know, uh, um, how long does it take to recover from this, being that we're in July already and, and the Breeders' Cup is only four months away and he needs another race. So uh, um, I, I don't want to get fans upset. I don't want them to think that uh, I want Justify to retire, but it's, it's starting to look like uh, we may not see the uh, Triple Crown winner on the track again. Half glass empty, Matt. I, I think there's good reason to feel that way. He's just worth so much money. And, and frankly, as much as racing fans want to see Justify run again, certainly racing fans do not want to see Justify come back at less than 100%. Now, um, as far as the season goes, the Haskell looks like it's out. Uh, the Travers is definitely in jeopardy now. If those indeed were serious goals for Justify this summer, looking forward, yeah, we'd hope he'd get back in training soon and uh, get at least one good race in wherever that may be before the Breeders' Cup Classic run. So we're still hoping to see Justify, uh, but it seems like there has been some groundwork made, whether it be uh, uh, unfortunate circumstances with the horse's health or uh, deeper-rooted plans by his connections that probably it's best not to run Justify again. We'll see, Matt, again, rooting rooting to see this undefeated Triple Crown winner, this excellent young horse, come back and run again, but we also want to see him only if he's 100%. Yeah, these are just the, and, and these are the little kinds of things that happen to horses when they're out on the track, and as we know, he ran six races in a short amount of time, so you know, it's not surprising that something like this happened, but it takes time to get over that.